Hello, this is Civil Harmony, and this is your update for our recent events. We're just, you know, the spiritual energy right now is about endings and beginnings. This can be in relationships, habits, spontaneous things can come up. So it may be about patterns. It may be changing the way the things that you're doing in the relationship. Okay, um, but it is the eclipse season, which is about endings and beginnings. And it can be in the world as well. Um, so I haven't been, I've been really busy and then I took a couple days off. I'm one of those healers that needs to take a couple days off, psychic healers, <laughs> because I need to connect with spirit. And so I did that and then I was at a crystal fair, which was super fun this weekend, but I wanted to just check in because I have some questions here. Um, I see a lot of Ukrainian refugees coming. I heard uh, Biden talking about, um, he already agreed to welcome the refugees. And some of them have been trying to come in through, I guess through the Southern border. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, and Good news, I saw this, but I didn't get home on time to make the video to get the prediction, but it doesn't matter whether I predict, uh, it's uh, uh, Le Pen lost, uh, Macron won. So yay for democracy around the world, Macron won. Not cool that it came, you know, close or that it was even in question that somebody supporting Putin, like uh, Le Pen, was even on there, you know, so they're not gone, but we won. So yay for NATO, yay for Ukraine, yay for us winning the war, yay. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to say that even though it wasn't really a prediction. Um, the questions I have here, oh, will Amber Heard, what will happen in the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial? Um, I don't, I feel like this is more about his professional reputation and trying to win support. And I just, my heart broke for him when Johnny Depp, when he talked about his childhood, it was so sad and traumatic. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was, you know, had violence in, like if he maybe actually did hit her and forgot about it because he was just in a rage or if they were hitting each other. I mean, you could provoke someone to a certain point. I mean, the whole thing just feels like it's a loss because it's a divorce. And I don't like taking people to court because it's so stressful. It's like, really, it just, the whole thing is so sad. Uh, after the divorce, which is tragic, then you're fighting over money and reputations and mudslinging. I mean, I don't even really like reading on this because it's just, I don't, I don't see where, uh, I mean, wherever we are, anybody, whatever you're doing, you're always learning something. So there's got to be something positive coming out of this. But I actually, the way I see it is that she's going to win some money. Um, that he is, you know, my heart broke for him, but it's not really, it almost feels kind of like he's acting or um, um, like they got some evidence on him. Let me just pull cards again. If people are interested in this, that just someone asks. So people are, and people like Johnny Depp or maybe Amber Heard. I'm not on anybody's side. But let me ask, will Amber Heard win money? Oh, now I'm getting a no. Yeah. <laughs> will um, Johnny Depp win money in this trial? Uh, defamation, character defamation suit. Okay. So, hmm. That's interesting. Last week, it looks like it, it changed. That could happen. Um, because we have free will. I, I'm feeling like, um, that's interesting, like he 
comes out ahead and before I was seeing her come out ahead. Let me do this again. Let me just ask. Will, um, let, let's use the pendulum here. Will Amber Heard win um, a settlement in the case with Johnny Depp? Huh. First it said yes, and now it's saying maybe, not, you know. So, um, I guess so we're updating it, and we can check in again as it goes on, but will Johnny Depp win um, a settlement from Amber Heard? Huh. Wow, I'm getting a yes. That's what the cards were saying. <laughs> so, okay. We'll keep an eye on that one as the drama turns so it's just sad when I see people fighting you know they're still fighting after their divorce it's just sad any divorce is is sad it's 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 hard okay um then I wanted to look at do animals have soul agreements somebody was concerned Carol um asked me about um the animals in Ukraine and animals and do animals have soul agreements? So the souls that are there fighting and and even dying may have opportunities to cross over if there's an opening because the soul has several openings to leave. It isn't guaranteed that they'll leave at that time, but there is an opening if that comes up. So the souls that are there, the people that are there, have a life agreement to come in and fight for democracy. So they're all heroes. So anybody, all of us in life, have agreements. Whether we follow the agreement to learn what we're here to learn, or to be of service, or to do what we're here to do for other people or ourselves, we do have free will with that. But they signed up for that and they're completing that mission. So there is no death. Now with animals, even as hard as that may sound to understand, that's the best way I can explain it, but we have soul agreements even to come in with our parents. Like why are some people born to abusive families? Well, they have karma with that person or very advanced souls will choose difficult lifetimes. Um, my first half of my life was very difficult and I chose that. I had a lifetime as a retarded boy and I died by myself on the side of the road. Because back then, if you were retarded, like in the 1700s, they thought you were possessed or, you know, demons or something like that. They didn't understand. So it, when a child is born special needs, a lot of time it's about teaching the parents that how the people and the parents how does society respond to that child? It's teaching unconditional love. And so, um, I, so I had this karmic uh, lesson that I came in with to be a pawn. So I would get abused by whoever, and then that person was acting out their karma of what they were gonna choose to do or not do. And so I had a lot to learn about forgiveness or mercy and how I would respond and how I could help other people who had been through what I'd been through. If that's the best I can explain it in a general way. Um, but we have karma with certain people. We can choose to whether to be in relationship with them or not, or to forgive them or to walk away from the relationship or to stay. <laughs> so animals, animals already know what unconditional love is. Dogs and cats, I know horses, well, all animals bring a medicine, a healing with being here and they contribute to the ecosystem. And some animals come in with an agreement to be food. If you are coming here and you are a cow or chicken, you probably know what's probably gonna happen. <laughs> You're giving your body the greatest gift so that other beings can live and I'm sorry if that sounds gross or disgusting. I, I just, it's just, but they reincarnate very quickly. And they don't really understand death in their consciousness, maybe on a higher soul level. But all animals, especially dogs and cats and horses, 
understand unconditional love. Horses are connected with the planet Arturius, which I believe is the planet of the Christos, the Christ energy. So um, whether you believe in that or not, but it's the planet of unconditional love and healing. It's a very gentle, um, uh, what do you call it, space, uh, uh, dimension, uh, planet, okay? So horses are very sensitive and they have, they, they heal people. Like there's horse uh, therapy, equine therapy, equine, I can't say the word therapy. Um, they have that or, and animals, dogs and cats, I mean pets, cats are from connected to the planet Sirius, which is a very highly evolved planet where the archangels come from. And so they, cats love people unconditionally, but they keep, teach people how to train, how to, I mean, how to treat them. They train people, okay? Dogs are more connected with um, Ryan, Right, no, are they connected? I can't remember now. Ryan's well, Sirius. Sirius, I think, is connected with the um, Ryan's belt. I'm not sure about that now. It's been a long time since I did this work. Sorry. Um, so, dogs love unconditionally and they are of service. Unless a dog has been taken and adapted, had some kind of abuse and adapted human traits, and they become aggressive, or the dogs and cats do, they forget um, their sole mission and they start taking on human traits or they because they just blend with everybody, with even other animals. They don't really have so much of a self, but they just blend and they unconditionally love us and they just take on the healing. So cetaceans, whales, dolphins, those are highly evolved beings that are also setting the vibration of the planet. Whales set the vibration in the oceans. And um, they it's like they've been incarnating and coming here so long, the whales and the cetaceans, that they've forgotten that they don't have to keep doing that. Or they keep, they get like stuck in the reincarnation wheel or something, but they will, they'll remember and people can help them. Um, but dogs and cats reincarnate very quickly. They don't really understand death in the way that we do, but they understand unconditional love and loyalty. Like there really isn't any death, and so they don't get that. Um, they should never ever be abused or be around war or have any kind of abuse from humans because they're very highly evolved beings dogs and cats and horses, they come here in furry bodies. And so um, in, in truth, there is no, you know, the, the suffering or whatever, it is forgotten quickly and the dog can reincarnate or choose to stay around the owner, um, the person that they are loyal to and serving until they get another dog and then that spirit will share the dog or the cat will share their spirit with the other dog that's left. It's it's really quite amazing. I mean, people say, I think that's my dog's reincarnated because it acts just like the other one. It's because it's sharing its soul with the other dog. <laughs> so I've crossed some of my dogs over and I see them like, yay, running around and they're not really here anymore even though I buried a couple in the backyard, which you're not supposed to, I don't do that anymore because you're not supposed to do that. But I love baby and angel so much. I wanted them close to me, but I treated them like humans. And when you do that, you shift their energy to a more conscious state. So they're kind of like a, more like a human. <laughs> okay, so that's, I hope that answers my question about the dogs in wartime. It's like, it should never happen, but once it's over, it's over. That's forgotten. They're very in the moment. They reincarnate very quickly, and they still love us unconditionally. So I just, you know, it, it's um, it's hard to watch any anything like that happen, and so I try not to, but I say prayers for them. And God bless the heroes who are over there helping animals in Ukraine or anywhere in the world.
and I'm a big animal animal sorry activist. Uh, I love animals and I try to take care of them and feed them and even if I see roadkill I pray for that soul and then one day I looked up on the other side and there were all these little animals going yay kind of like happy that I helped them from their because what happens when they get hit by roadkill they don't know they're dead and they're still like running around going yeah and I'm like oh no you don't have to be scared anymore you're free now and you can go into the light so I love to do that there's my cat she wants attention I have an elderly cat with dementia <laughs> so so uh, can you tell me something about the animals? Um, okay, so what they're showing me is they end up in heaven. They're with their heavenly family when they pass. And so we don't need to be worried about them. They just, they understand unconditional love. Okay. All right. So please like and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private session, I'm still taking private sessions at Sybil, S-I-B-Y-L, harmony.com. And I will be making a meditation video for my newsletter. Um, it'll be on YouTube and that'll be coming up um, this sometime this week. Thank you for sharing your time. So much love. And if you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Take care. Bye.